What's up guys, it's George, uh, and in this video I want to talk about a, um, a topic that I saw from a, a, a Reddit post. I thought it was really fascinating, and it talked about how overcoming addiction is overcoming ambivalence. And as I read through it, I said, wow, you know, this is uh, uh, so true. And basically what it means is that overcoming addiction is overcoming ambivalence, and what it means is that there's a part of you that uh, that wants to quit, that wants to quit intoxicating yourself, and then there's a part of you that doesn't want to quit intoxicating uh, yourself. There's a part of you that wants to keep using, and this is the tough part about it. It's not so much the addiction that you're overcoming; it's this person, this part of your personality that is not fully committed to the idea of quitting. And this is why I think that it can be so difficult when quitting because all you have this, you know, you may be quitting, maybe you've gone a couple of days and all of a sudden you have a voice in the back, you're like, you know what, I'm feeling great, these withdrawals aren't so bad, you know, I'm fine, you know, screw it, you know, life is better than high, I'm going back to the end, boom, and then you're right back in that cycle. Or, uh, you know, maybe you just want to wean, you're like, you know what, I'm just going to wean off smoking weed and just going to smoke a little bit less and less and less. Um, but all of a sudden, over time, uh, you know, it's just, you know, this, this part of you that doesn't yet want to give it up is like, you know what, you know, I, I, whatever, I'm, I'm causing too much stress for myself, dealing with this whole quitting thing, you know, I'm fine, I'm, you know, and, and you're not really sold on the idea of quitting. And that's really what the battle is. It's not so much the addiction, but it's the, uh, it's the battle against the ambivalence, the battle against the part of you that, uh, uh, that still wants to keep using that still justifies reasons for using. An addict will always find reasons to justify their addiction, and that's the difficult part. And, uh, um, and so the key is, is you really gotta get sold, 100% sold, and fully committed to this idea of, uh, um, uh, of quitting. Because uh, um, if you're just half in, and you know, ah, you know, I'm gonna give it, then it's gonna be very difficult because that part of you that uh, that wants to keep using, you know, it's like you got the two, you know, one person on one shoulder, one on the other, the other one might win. And quite common, that one does win. And that's why I say, you know, if you're serious about quitting, you got to burn your bridges behind you. You got to get rid of all your paraphernalia. You got to get rid of, uh, you know, your excess weed and things like that, that, you know, could be in temptation to relapse for a period of time, even stop hanging out with people that are smoking weed and uh, um, and watching shows and podcast episodes, where people are smoking weed and things like that. You want to, uh, you want to uh, uh, completely disassociate yourself from that world, at least temporarily, until you can get sold, really sold on this new lifestyle. Because, like they say, it takes uh, 30 days to make it a habit and uh, 90 days to make it a lifestyle. And so you got to be patient and give it time. To, uh, to create this new habit, but to understand that really ultimately the battle, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's overcoming your ambivalence. And I thought that was really profound and just something to think about, that it's not so much the addiction that you're battling, it's, a, it's battling that other side. You know, you got the one on the one side, <laughs> the angel of light that wants to get free and wants you to live and fulfill your potential. And then you got the dark angel, the one that just, you know, just smoke up again, just light up. Screw George, screw all this, you know, just keep lighting up, keep getting high. That's who you're battling. That's the real battle. So food for thought, guys. Hope you're all having a great day. Let's make it a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year. Let's make it a great life. See ya.